Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Well, I thought I would pop up and do a quick live about our new colour pop range of edible food colours. So just me and Simon in the kitchen. You never know, John might pop in in a minute. But hi Simon. Hello. Hi everyone. So, Welcome back. Hey, absolutely. So if you've been watching Claire Corbett in the Make It Bake It group today, she's used some of the colours. She's used our buttercream ganache plates as well. Um, but we thought we'd go live on the main page to tell you all about our fabulous colour range. Okay. So these are for sugar and crumbs. And I'll just try and push them up a little bit and then show you them. So I won't get them all on because you'll see there's some over there. But um, basically, most of you understand what they are, but some of you are a little bit confused. I saw in a post today and I said to John, you know what, let's, let's do a little live about it. So how's our audience doing, Simon? Great, we've got 84 at the moment. Well, 84 on a hot sunny day. I'm mm. well impressed, well done. So hopefully more of you are going to join. It's absolutely boiling, I'm sure isn't it? I'm sure you were watching in the garden. Yeah, I had a summer dress on before, and it was like little straps. I said, I'm not wearing that during the live, no chance. But um, anyhow, so we brought out our first edible colours, which were um, the Colourpop range Deep Colours. And I'm going to explain how they work in a minute. But there is 13 colours in the range, and they are activated by liquid. Now, I have put water activated, but basically they're activated by cream. So if you want to use them to colour your ganache, you sprinkle it into your cream first, okay? Stir it, then add it to your butter. If you want to add it to meringues um, or, or anything with egg white, add it to your egg white first, whisk that before you add any other products to it. And the same with your um, buttercream. If you want to add it to your buttercream or your Swiss meringue buttercream, I'm gonna show you how to use it there, okay? So it's like water activated and you can also um, make a little paste and paint it onto your sugar paste. But I'm going to go through each one with you. So that is the ColourPop Deep Acti deep water activated colours and there's 13 in the colour in the colour range. Now this week we've also launched our cocoa colours. So these are called colour pop as well. So let's just think about all the ranges out there. There's rainbow dust, there's um, squires, uh, squires kitchen, there's sugar flare, there's colour splash, there's lots of ranges out there, but they have net brand their brands underneath them. They have petal dust, they have airbrush colours, they have um, cocoa colours. So all this is this is sugar and Crumb's new colour range which is called Colourpop and we love that name. Do you like it? So it's called Colourpop and we've just brought out three in the edible colour range. So then we do a box of cocoa colours, all right? So these are only sold as a box at the moment. And um, we're gonna see how they go and then we'll start selling them as singles. There's nine colours in the box, but I'm gonna come back and talk to you about them because I don't want to talk about it all now. So I'm just giving you a I quick just, overview. Can I just clarify something? Because somebody's asking a question about can you use it for butter ganache? We're gonna go over, Carol is gonna go over now everything that you can use each one of them for, yeah. aren't you? I am, yeah. So if you can just hold on, hold your questions yes. till we're talking about. So we're just this is a little bit of an overview, yeah. And then we're gonna to go to each one and tell you what you can make. With You're them. eager beavers, you lot, are yeah, you? They're always, aren't they? Yeah. And then we've got our um, petal dust. And then the petal dust are oil based. Now that doesn't mean there's any oil in these, like there's no water in the water activated ones. Basically it means you can use it with any product with oil. Okay, now in this colour range there's actually 30 colours and there's more to come. Alright, so let's start off with one at a time. So let's can put I, those dust out of the way. Can I just change the subject slightly before you, can. you start on that? Yeah. Uh, Tonya Osborne says she's bought a class for tonight. Yeah. And she doesn't know, she's not had any notification of where to put her order number, she doesn't. So explain to her where she needs to go. Just send me a message, Sonia, and I'll send you a link afterwards, it's easier. Okay, because I want to do this live. We can talk about everything else afterwards. I'm on Messenger, send me a message, and I'll check everything right. after. Okay. I just wanted to say that before I forgot about it, yeah. I would have done it the no other worries. Live. All right, then, no worries. Great, okay. So, these are the nine colours with that need activating with water, or a liquid, all right? So these colours, you can use them, I'll put them in the centre there, you can use them for your buttercream, you can use them for your Swiss meringue buttercream, you can use them to colour your ganache, but you must colour it with the cream first. So you have to colour the cream first, then add it to the chocolate. Do not throw it into the chocolate, it will seize your chocolate. You cannot use these for your butter ganache, okay? Because it's very oily, all right? So you cannot use it for the butter ganache whatsoever. 
and um, what else can you use them for? You can use them for your sponge ma mixes, so colour your sponges with them. Um, you can colour your meringues with them via your egg white, your pavlovas via your egg white. So anything that has a liquid that goes with it, okay, and butter is solid, all right, it's not a liquid, it only becomes a liquid when it's melted. But not an oily liquid. Yes, but not an oily liquid, then you can use it, all right? So you can't put these in like sunflower oil or anything no. like that? No, 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 no. Right, so what we'll do is I'll just quickly show you how to use this. We have actually made, uh, done lots of lives, okay. Um, if you're in the Make It, Bake It, Decorate It Learning Hub, we've actually done lots of lives there. And I, I'm actually thinking I'm going to do some lives on this main business page as well to show you how to use it, all right. Um, we'll, we'll have a think with Karen and we'll put a calendar together so that you've got it in and then it's on YouTube, all right. So with these, um, you can use, let me just get it. So with these, you can use various things. We've got these little mini spoons, but we've just sold out the last one, so I need to order some more. So you can use these little sets of spoons, which are great. And let me tell you now, it's very rare that you'll use the big spoon. Mainly, you'll use the smallest spoon, okay? Um, the smallest spoon, the first three, I would say, are the popular sizes. Remember, the spoons, will, you'll use them bigger um, the more you've got, all right? The more, the more mixture that you want to mix. But uh, you don't really have to use a lot. What I would say is use a little bit and then if you want it darker, add more. Because you can always add more, but you can never take away. And that's the best thing to do with all your mixes. So one of the colours I'm going to use is, I'm going to use this vibrant green. Now I'm going to use this because it's like magic really. But a lot of people are confused with this because as you can see, it's orange in the tub. So when people get it, we've had a couple of... Um, emails come into us on customer services saying look you know I ordered vibrant green but it's actually orange and I've seen a few of you say on the group as well so you can use this I'm going to do this three times in different shades so that you can see how much that you need I'm not going to use the spoons because if I use the spoons and you haven't got a set and you say oh we're out of stock or something you might be disappointed so um, so let's use the little tip of a spatula okay so all I'm going to do is it's used a tiny little bit, so, and Coming that, in. there we go. it's a little tiny bit, now this is a mini palette knife, okay, so just add in a little tiny bit to our buttercream, and like I say, you just put it in to your um, cream, or your egg white, or your Swiss meringue buttercream, you know, and then with this, you're going to add water to it, look at that, it's turned green, yeah? Now, if, you, if you're adding it to your meringue mix, or your cream you don't need to add water because that's already a liquid all right but with the buttercream you do need to add a spray of water and I add a decent spray of water okay now look how vibrant that is just that tiny little bit and we'll do another little batch in a minute with less and we'll do another little batch with more so that you can see the colors And just really easy, paddle it in. Now do give it a good spray because you need to dissolve it all. Look at that, it's a lovely mint green, isn't it? Yeah? So what I'm going to do now is just, you know what, I'll get a new batch of green. I'll use this up in my Facebook Live tonight. I've got a class on tonight, so it looks like we'll be using lots of green. And what we'll do on this one is, we'll use even less. So look, it's not even touching there, just a tiny little bit. So we'll just use that, look at that, just a tiny little bit. An outfit's still on there. Eh? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> okay, you see it go green, give it a good squirt. So the reason I'm doing this tonight is because I saw a question in the Make It Bake It Hub and I've got to be honest, I'm down the warehouse on tomorrow, Thursday, then I've got Marion in the kitchen tomorrow and it'd be unfair for me to do it on her live and then we've got Claire Corbett in the kitchen on Friday and then we start next week and I thought, you know what, and I've got a class tonight and I thought, you know what, I need to get this done and out of the way. So look at that tiny white there, there. so that gives you a really pale green so you can you can make this as pale as you want so even though they're deep colors you can make it as pale as you want it's just use less is more so look 
There's your two colours there. Now let's go and put a chunk in, shall we? And you can do this with any of the colours, okay? So remember, always use a tiny bit so you can add to it. So I'm going to put a chunk in here now and you'll see how vibrant it will go. So there's a chunk and I think you can see quite a lot on there, isn't there? Yeah. Is this the set that will do with all cream, meringue, etc.? Sorry? Is this the set that you would use with all cream and yeah. meringue? Yeah, this is the set. So you can add this to your cream, you can add it to your egg white, you can add it to your cake batter, you can add it to anything that's got water in it to colour it, but you must activate it with water. You cannot dry dust with this, okay? You mustn't dry dust with it at all. So it's not a dry dust for you for dusting your flowers with or anything like that. It's a colouring for your uh, edible food colours. And make sure you activate it well. Now look how luminous this has gone. So Maureen, I was it Maureen or Dory? Dory, I think. Dory, does this behave well with meringue? Yes. Yes, it does. It colours well meringue is beautiful, okay? And the colour's quite stable off when yes, you cook, they are. isn't it? And I tell you now, the colour meringue uh, macarons gorgeous. Macarons yeah. always come out a bit strange because of the almond mix that's in there. So you've got to try and colour up that beige. So just add a little bit more to your macarons. Now the secret with macarons when you want pastel macarons, if you make your macaron mix pastel, really very pale pastel, um, and then you pipe them out, it's more than likely they're going to come out beige. Okay, it doesn't matter which colour you use, it's more than likely because the beige of the almond will come out. So just add a bit more, all right? Now look at that, that's from the three colours there. There you go, that's from the three greens. That's, well, it's the same colour. So remember, less is more, okay? Now if you want to make a leaf green from this, let me go and get myself another little pot. So if you want to make a leaf green from this, so maybe these are too vibrant, let's just take a bit of that off. Let's get the golden caramel, some chan yellow, golden caramel. A minute, let me just get my, I thought so. What I've done is I've put a new tub here and I've got to use up my old tub. Where's my old tubs? Sorry. I put, it, I put the new tub there for show, completely forgetting that I'm going to use it. No, Lynn, you can't use this for chocolate. No, you mustn't use it for chocolate. So if you've missed part of this live, can you go back and watch it afterwards? So this is the golden caramel. We'll be coming to the ones you can use for chocolate later. Yeah, that's right. So... Now the golden caramel, okay, goes a little bit hard and crusty. So it dries up, so just break it up a little bit, okay? So don't be frightened of bashing it one. So it's the only one that a bit of moisture affects it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of brown there, golden caramel. And that's to create um, a leaf green. Yeah, so do watch the golden caramel for it going a little bit crusty. On our next batch, I'm going to have another um, item put in it just to keep it soft. So we've added a bit of brown to it. Activate it again with water. Now if you make your buttercream too soft, all you gotta do is just pop it in the fridge for a little while. So, there we go. And look, that's toned down the green now to a nice leaf green. And you only have to put a little bit in. Now, so what, if you're coming to just join this live now, just go back and watch it later and then it'll save me time. I've, got, I've only got so much time because I've actually got a class at seven o'clock. So I've got to show you everything clean up and get ready for my class. <laughs> so if any of you want to join Summer Flowers tonight, you can still join. What you need to do is just jump on the website, sign up, and it, there's a link. If you go to the product information, there's a link right through to the class. Oh, there you go. So we've just added a bit of caramel to that. So we've got a very pale 
um, minty, very light minty um, green, a, a mint green, more maybe pistachio colour is it? Then we've got a vibrant green and then we've just added a bit of caramel with that to make it a leaf green. Are you all happy with that? And that's all you need to do. So remember, less is more. Okay, so these are your ColourPop deep colours, all right? So they're deep because you can get a really intense colour with it. And, um, but you can also have pastel colours as well. So don't get confused with the petal dust, which I'm going to talk to you about next. And thank you to Karen Naylor for answering some of the questions there Thank you, for Karen. Us. Did you know we was popping up Karen? Might have been a good idea if I'd warned you, wasn't it? So... Well, I did put a, a warning on for everyone, so... They did should, you? They oh, did you? Great. Now, <laughs> the other thing with the deep colours is they will stain your fingers, all right? They are quite strong, and you'll get really stained fingers. Um, just a bit of sugar, granulated sugar, some washing-up liquid, um, and then that will get it off. Here in the kitchen, we use um, uh, the, the... What do we use? The vanish bar, don't okay. we? That's what we use. We do, yes. So I'm just going to get those out of the way. I'm going to clear this up. Simon's going to kill me because I've coloured his uh, top. Um, if you get this on your clothes, it all comes out. Okay, It comes out in the wash, no problem at all. What I am going to say to you, if you do spill it anywhere, be careful when using a cloth because you're a, a wet cloth because you're activating the colour mm. and you end up spreading it all over the place. Yeah. So let me get those colours back there then. So we've got if them. You can get it up dry. That's much better. Yeah, try and get most like of it up dry. Could, if you've got it on the carpet, don't <laughs> even think about putting no. water on it. No, what I want to know is why you've got it sprinkled on the carpet. And um, what I tend to do when I'm using them, I put a piece of kitchen roll down, albeit I haven't done it tonight, but I put a bit of kitchen roll down and I open on top of the kitchen roll and then afterwards I can take it away and bin it. Yep. What? <laughs> Have I got it on my nose? You've got it under your nose. And the green, oh, there you go. <laughs> have I gone blue? Come on, let me have a look. I'll just give my nose a rub with a vanish bar. Oh, look at that. Do you know what? I did for every move before. There you go, ladies. How to make yourself look a dick on YouTube. Right, okay. Let me just wash my hands. No more. Thanks, I, for that. Okay. I'm just washing my hands, get off the colour. It's give you all something to smile about, isn't it? And they all laugh inside. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they're, they're in, you can buy these individually and as a set? Yes, you can. Although so I believe we've not got the sets in at the moment. We're waiting for stock in. Yeah, I think we're waiting for a new order. Do we, we know when that's that in? Fast. No it's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be early August, I think. I love drinking my coffee. Right. Okay then. Yeah. So I think we've run out of some of the colours. I tell you, we actually bought hundreds of them and uh, they've sold out so fast. I actually can't believe how fast they've sold out. Sh um, sold out. We haven't even sold them to the trade yet, so we've just sold them to our own customers. So the next um, launch that we did was the petaled colours, okay? So if you want to have a little look, is that central, Simon? That's great, yep, to, to you. Yep. Yeah, yes. sorry, I was just moving those cocoa colours out. So these are the petal colours, all right? More. More to me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. There we go. Perfect. So Lee Carroll was in the other night and he actually dusted each of the colours here. So he dry dusted the top colour and then I've wet dusted with rejuvenator here, the next colour underneath. So anybody who's coming to the social day on Saturday, you'll see this board. Um, and that, that's all I've done. Now let me tell you about these colours. So these colours say oil base. So there's no oil in this product like there's no water in here. Okay, so there's no oil in these, but because they're oil based, that gives you the clue that you can use them with any anything that has oil in them. So this means that you can use it in your Swiss meringue buttercream, you can use it in chocolate, sorry I've got chocolate, you can use it in, um, you can dry dust with them, you can use them, we've not tried it in the butter ganache, but you should be able to use it in the butter ganache, but just wait till we try it first, or if any of you wants to try it, risk it and try it 
try it, go ahead and try it if you want to. You shouldn't have any problems with it at all. So these are for dusting your flowers like you normally do with petal dust, but the added advantage is you can colour your buttercream with it, you could colour your um, your Swiss meringue buttercream, albeit we would prefer you to use the deep colours, you can use it for colouring your chocolate, um, and you can use it for, what else was there, sorry? Um. Re with rejuvenator so or dipping solution yeah. so that means you can paint with them as well oh cocoa butter that's what i was going to say to you so if any of you are doing um cocoa butter painting with tracy mann or, or emily hankins if you're using the little cocoa butter drops then these are great for that as well so i'm not going to demo these i just wanted to show you the colors now there's 30 colors and there's about another six more colors on the way so at the moment we're selling these in packs of 30 but i will tell you they're flying out fast when i had a look at the stock list before there isn't very many left so these are flying out fast um, so you're going to love these so lots of really pretty colors and um, Simon will let me know if you like them and then what I've done is Karen actually put two colors in chocolate for you so all she did was um, put it in the chocolate and she just melted the chocolate so you don't put it in with the chocolate um, as the chocolate drops you melt the chocolate first and then you put the color in okay so that's what she did first yeah. So Halima's ordered these and they came yesterday. She's that? using them tomorrow. Halima. All oh, right. Yeah, fantastic. You're going to love them. So if you want um, to use them for chocolate, and melt your chocolate. John says they yeah. worked in butter ganache yesterday. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. that's nice, Sean. If you've got any pictures, share them on the group with us. Let's have a look. So they should work in butter. They should work in butter ganache, but we haven't tested it ourselves. So this is chocolate. Just melt your chocolate in the normal way. Once it's melted, then uh, sprinkle in your dust. And again, start off, less is more. Don't go chucking a load in. Um, chuck in what you think you should chuck in. And once you get to the colour that you want to be, then colour it, okay? So I think that's really very simple. So do you understand the two dusts now? So there's the water activated, which basically means the liquid activate, acu, acu, activated, trying to get my tongue out teeth round my tongue or my tongue round my teeth whichever it is and then you've got the petal dust so that's for dusting your flowers you can paint things you can paint your biscuits you can paint your cookies you can add this to your royal icing as well if you wanted to same with the color pot the deep colors you can add to royal icing because it's got liquid in it hasn't it and you can do the um, same with this so am i right you can't use petal dust for a macaron uh we haven't tried it on macarons but i don't think you can no so I don't know, but we haven't tried it. So um, I wouldn't, I, we've got to try it yet. There's no oil in this product, okay? So we haven't tried it for macarons yet. So don't get yourself confused that there's oil in here, okay? That, that's not the thing. We haven't tested everything yet. It's just mixable with oil. Yes, it's mixable with oil. But Karen is going to, Karen is off poorly at the moment, but when she comes back into work, I will be getting her to try everything. So hopefully she's back in on Monday and she'll be making macarons and other things. I'll be getting her baking a batch of all sorts of things on Monday and then I can update the list of what you can use them for. All right. So but there's much, no oil these, in these. Yeah. How much are they so these should be three ninety five each, but they're on offer at the moment at two ninety five each, okay? Or you can buy the bundle of thirty for sixty nine ninety nine, which works out at two pound twenty five each. So it's a really good saving, all right? And there's 10 mils in each one. And that's all the colours that you've got there yeah. in front of you. That's it, all 30 colours. Um, and cool. if you're at the social day, you're going to be seeing these. Now, if you were on the wafer paper wafer, wafer paper flower day with Sean, um, I brought these into Sean. She brought all her own colours on Friday, not knowing I had these. And when she came in, I said, Sean, do you fancy giving these a go? And she went, yeah, and she's absolutely in love with them. So I was really pleased about that. She actually didn't use any other colours. She actually used these and she lo she loves them. So that's a bonus as well. So those ladies are in that class. They're there. Yeah. So I'm going to shove those out of the way and then bring our newest colour, which is our cocoa colours. Now, there's only nine of these colours. OK. And um, and to be fair, I don't actually think we're going to do more colours. I think what we might do is do a bigger bottle of white because you can achieve all the colours you want by adding more white to it, all right? So what's the difference with these? Because you can add those to chocolate, but this is, this is for everything chocolate. So this is, um, this is for 
colour in your buttercream as well. So you can put it in your buttercream, your Swiss Meringue buttercream. There's nine colours, let's get them out. So where the, where the petal dust will give you a light colour in your buttercream, this will give you a more enhanced colour. And again, it's, it's the drop rule, isn't it? So the less you put in, the lighter the colour. The more you put in, the darker the colour. Okay, and the colours that we've got, I've not got them in alphabetical order because I've just chucked them out of the box. But we do have black and we do have blue and we have green which is next, pink, purple, orange, red, yellow and white. And that pink there today, Claire did a live today and that was from the pink and that was from the purple. Okay. So you can see them. So they've just come on. Now these are 20 mils. Um, our bottles are smaller than other brands, but they've got exactly the same amount in. All right, our bottles are filled to the top. Because lots of people have nice fancy bottles, long bottles, funny shaped bottles, but ours are filled to the top. And these are sold in a set of nine. Um, I can't remember what the price is going to be, but they are on offer at the moment for 19 99 for all nine colours, which is really very good. And I think once you use these, you're going to absolutely love them. Um, you're going to love them and I think that we should get them in white, bigger bottles of the white and then you can just dilute all these colours then if you want to um, make different shades of the colours. Hi John, so you're just, right. just to clarify, because Debbie Hargreaves is asking, I thought you couldn't use them in SMBC, so tell her which ones you can use in SMBC please, Carol. In SMBC? You so can you can use, use all of them in SMBC? You can use all of them in Swiss Meringue Buttercream. Yeah. Yeah. All of them are absolutely fine in Swiss meringue buttercream. It's um, you can't use them. You can't use these in meringues. Yeah. Okay, so these this set here you can't use in meringues, and um, you can't use them in pavlova. All right. So That's what you if can't you were making in. SMBC, you wouldn't add, and you were making it with meringue. Yeah. The old-fashioned way, you wouldn't use these no. in that stuff. Yeah. Start. So you'd use you could it, add them at the end. Add it at the end, yeah. And it's the same with this. Once you've used whipping it up, okay, and you've made it into your Swiss meringue buttercream, then you can add the colour, okay? But um, if, as um, Simon said, if you're going to make it the traditional way and you're making a meringue, don't add it until it's all combined and all in together. Then you can add it, yeah? But it's mainly for chocolate, these ones. And they're all great. You're going to love them. You're going to love all of them. So let me just show you the colours that you create. Do you know if it has any taste of that liquid one? Um, not that I can, not that it's, I've been uh, able to tell. It says colour mill does. Oh, well, I, I really can't tell with colour mill as well. To be fair, I mean, I've got so, to be honest. We've used colour mill, and I'm not comparing ourselves she, with colour mill. Um, I don't know how much she's tasting. So. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Um, I've got to be honest. I'm not comparing these with colour mill. These are our colours. Now we've had great feedback so far, and people are absolutely loving them, and that that's what's good for us. Um, if it's the same as Colour Mill or as good as Colour Mill, then you know what, that's a compliment, isn't it? But we've had great compliments about it. So let me just show you some of the colours then. So we'll do black. So Karen has done some little bits of chocolate and she's just done, you might see that we've got little bits of uh, white chocolate in here because it's, where, it's where it's chipped off the box. And some Margaret. Yeah. Margaret, if you could just message Carol and she'll answer you after the show. Yeah, that would be She'll get you in the group for later. Yeah, so any anything you need me for, just private message me. If it's nothing to do with the colours. So if you look over the top here, we've got black. And you probably can't see, can't see so well, really, actually. But this was the free drop, so... If you see any little white bits, it's because it, the chocolate was white chocolate first. So we've got... I can't see it so well on the camera there. But it's actually... A, gr a grey, a darker grey and um, a black, but you could even go really light, Karen's gone a little bit too heavy on that one, I would have gone a lot lighter on it, yeah, so you've got that one for the black, and then for the blue, so all we've done is just the drop method there, so look, so for the blue, there's the three colours, that's what I meant, we should have done a really pale grey with the black really, so just a tiny bit, a little bit more, a little bit more for the blue, And then for the green, you see? So it's just your drop method, isn't it? So if you see any little white chocolate white chocolate bits in there, it's where Karen's been stirring and there's some white round the side. So you've got your lighter colour, your medium colour, your darker colour. Obviously you can go darker more if you want to put more in. You can go lighter if you want to put less in. It's entirely up to you. Then we have 
Do you know what? I give up with the alphabet now. Wait a minute. Pink. Let's do pink. Yep. Alphabet? Well, I was doing them in alphabetical order. Oh, I don't know why I didn't look at that. There you go. So we've got pink. What? Don't be laughing at me, John McFarlane. So you've got your pink. We've got purple. In fact, you know what? I'll just stick them all together there. It's like the same better. alphabet in our stuff that's in alphabetical order in the warehouse. Pardon? It's the same alphabet that's in alphabetical order in our warehouse. Why? What's wrong with that? It wasn't the alphabet I learned. Well, some things can't go in alphabetical order, John. They have to go in brand name, don't they? Yeah, I do. Right. So why don't you just buzz off and keep your nose out? Instead of coming in here, causing trouble. Bye. Pink, purple, and then we've got orange. Don't worry, that was one husband. If you didn't know, if you, you don't know who John is, he loves coming in for a bit of a wind up, and he's having a little pop at me because I'm the one who labelled up the warehouse. Oh, she was thinking of meringue. Debbie Hardy's. Oh yeah, yeah, can't put these in meringue. So, the only one okay. for meringue is the deep colours, isn't it? Yeah. I think, is it? Could you... We haven't tried the other one. We haven't tried the other ones in meringue. We haven't tried the petal dust in meringue yet, no. so... So, let's get those in there, actually. But the, the cocoa colour, no. Not in meringue. Yeah, no, don't put these in meringue. And don't put them in your macarons, either. Orange. Just trying to get along. Can you see all them on the screen? Uh, yep, if we do that. Yep, there we go. All right, there we go. Gone off with his little tail between his legs, one husband. It's a hot sunny day and I don't think we're in the mood for it. I think Claire was knackered by the end of her live today, wasn't she? It's so hot here. And those of you who are going to be joining me in the kitchen, I think we did this last year one of the classes, had it on a heat wave. And then you've got the white there. So there you go. How cool is that? So that white looks whiter there, that's because we've put more in. So as they've gone darker, that's actually gone whiter. Yeah. So those are the nine colours. And then you've got your colour pop, deep colours. And then you've got your petal dust. I'm not going to be able to get them all on the screen. Let's see what I can do here. I think that's about as best as I can to get them all on. And that was clear today. Using the pink. I can go, go with this one if you like. So when you're looking at the colours, ladies, and you've got them in the box, it does say um, deep colour, deep colour in. It does say water activated. That's 13 of those colours. That's to give you a clue that you activate it with liquid. Then these are dusts. These are for um, those of you who like to dust your flowers, but you can also add them to chocolate if you want to. Okay, so melt your chocolate first and then sprinkle in some dust to colour it. And that will give you a, um, a nice soft tone colour. And then these are for chocolate, all right? So I think I've explained everything. If you haven't, if you haven't caught it all, what time is it? It's half past five. If you haven't caught it all, just re-watch this live, all right? So I'll just repeat one more time deep colours you activate with liquid so it means that you can put them in your sponge mix you can put them in with your meringues you can put them in your swiss meringue buttercream you can put them in your cream before you add it to your chocolate to make ganache you cannot use it for butter ganache you can use it for your macarons um, and you can use it for your buttercream but it all has to be activated i just showed you how to activate it if you're going to use it with your buttercream a spray of water okay these dusts here are suitable for anything with oil in so you can they haven't got oil in the product okay so don't think they've got oil in the product they haven't they just work with color with things with oil in so that means that you can dust with them you can paint with them with the, if you're just going to put rejuvenator on you can add them to your chocolate, melt your chocolate first, then add the colour, okay? And then these are just, uh, oh, and you can do your cocoa butter painting with these as well, okay? So those of you who do cocoa butter painting, you drop your little, you melt your little drops of um, cocoa butter, you can add these colours to it with it, no problem. And then this is your cocoa colour, okay? So this means that you can add these nine to your chocolate here. So that's this nine here. So you can add that into your chocolate. So does that explain everything? I'm melting here. I don't know where I'm going to go, but seven o'clock, si. No. Ready? You're going to go. Hopefully it's cooled down a bit by Yeah, then. I hope so as well. Right, does there any questions? Any more questions? 
And then what I'm going to do is, we've done lots of lives um, with this product in the Make It Bake It group. So I think what we'll do is we'll start making a series of lives on this business page so that we can show you how to use them. Um, I don't think we've done any of the colours on the business page, have we? It's all so because what we do is when we launch something, we launch it in the Make It Bake It Decorate It group. And um, if you haven't joined that group, it's a great group. Um, there's three lives in there per week. Sometimes there's four. Now and again, there's five. You get discounts off all your classes. Lots of ladies have already had their money back because they've brought all their classes. So you get five pound off all your classes. And um, you get to know about new products first. And we're coming up to our, our, our 100 Facebook Live. I think it's next week that we actually achieve our 100 Facebook Live since we started and we're only in July. So how fantastic is that? Where would you get all that content from? We've also got some great tutors. All our tutors are fabulous anyhow, but we've got some new tutors. We've got Jess Lawson, the Sugar Sparrow. We've got Sean from That Little Cake Place. We've got Tracy McKay coming in next week, the Cake Sculptress. Um, Cicely Sutherland is back in in August. She's got two booked in for August, so that's great. Um, so it's lovely to see everybody. Lee Carroll, of course, our very own Claire Corbett. She belongs to us. So she's probably not, she's not on the comments because she's actually driving home. So uh, she did her live this afternoon, so she's actually driving Dennis home at the moment. Question. Di Wheeler, um, yeah? it's after white chocolate. Yes, except if you add it to black. Yes, so you have to add it to white chocolate to colour. You'll never colour brown chocolate pink, all right? Never, ever, 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 all right? You'll never colour brown chocolate green. You'll never colour it blue. You can only ever colour black chocolate, uh, white chocolate to a colour. Um, if you want to colour um, dark chocolate, so brown chocolate, you can add black to it and make black to it, but black chocolate, but that's the only colour you can colour it, yeah? Right. And if anybody can colour brown chocolate pink, please let me know. I'll be very excited to learn about it. Yeah, so I think that's it. Don't think I need to tell you any more. Is that all right? Yes, I think so. Yeah, great. I'll just give them a minute to write their question in. And then um, it's 20 to 6. Um, I'm going to be going live at 7, 7 o'clock with um, Summer Flowers. That's going to be a really nice dem that. So if you want to join that, feel free to join that. You've still got time. I'll be letting everybody into the group right up until 5 to 7. After that, you're not going to get in until after the dem's finished. Okay? Um, so if you want so if you if you miss signing in before five to seven, you'll have to wait till later and watch it on catch up. Remember it's your group, you can keep it forever and you can watch it whenever you want. You can do replay back and um, we're gonna see how we're gonna cope in this lovely hot weather with our buttercream. Alright? Great. See you later. Cheerio. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Simon.